Ladies and gentlemen, today I have a message for the San Francisco 49ers. Um, I'm currently in Hong Kong. It is January 15th. It's about 7.20 in the evening. The other day I went to the computer store here in Hong Kong to buy one of these. And one of these, I spent about 180 bucks, I think, on these two items here. And the reason I bought these two items is because I'm bringing back the live streams for the playoffs. That is correct. Bringing those on the road with me. Cleared out my luggage space, threw out some clothes just to fit that mic and that webcam to watch the 49ers live for you guys. I even booked an Airbnb with fast Wi-Fi in Hanoi, Vietnam. Just to watch this football team. Just to watch Jake Moody shank kicks. That fat ass. But look, I know I haven't been updating you guys with the Niners reactions. You know what I mean? With the Niners live streams all year. Um, I've been traveling, so it's been really hard for me. All the games in Asia happen at either 2 a.m., 5 a.m., or 9 a.m. And unfortunately, I just can't be yelling my head off when I'm living in a hotel. But I've been up for every game. I've been following the team very, very closely. And so the reason why I'm recording this video is because I see it in this team. I think this team is special. I really do. I actually believe in this team. So I have a message. And I want to tell you guys a story. So when I was young, all right, as a Canadian kid, I grew up watching hockey, fell in love with the physicality, with the fights, with the pace of play, everything about it. In about 2011, 2012, I was flipping through the channels because there was no hockey game on TV. And I stumbled across a 49ers game where Patrick Willis and Navarro Bowman were just taking heads off. And that was the day that I decided that I was going to be a fan of this football team. Now, if you guys don't know a lot about football, the 49ers are a very historic franchise. All right, One of the most successful franchises in all of football. Won five Super Bowls. All happened before 1995. Now, ever since I started following this team in 2011, it's been hashtag quest for six. And in 2012, January, playoffs, NFC Championship game, Ted Ginn is not on the punt returns, Kyle Williams, fumble, sets up a Giants field goal, they win the Super Bowl. Then the next year, my second year following football, we make the Super Bowl. The big stage. Lights go out. We don't run the ball. Kaepernick overthrow. Crabtree gets held. We lose. But it's only my second year watching football. My third year. We make the NFC Championship game. We're playing the Seahawks. Arch rivals. Kaepernick throws it. Right corner of the end zone. Tipped by Sherman, intercepted. We lose to the Seahawks. Next year, Harbaugh leaves. Team gets dismantled. We bring in Jim Tomsula. Then we bring in Chip Kelly. He started playing quarterbacks like Brian Hoyer, Blaine Gabber, C.J. Beathard, Nick Mullins. But then we have hope. We trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. I got to sit up here and act. Like this motherfucker was a top 10 quarterback. I gotta sit here and defend this 
just terrible quarterback. But somehow, some way, we create a super team. We make the Super Bowl again. And this time we're playing Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. We go up 10 in the fourth quarter. With six minutes left in the game. And we blow a 10 point lead. The next year we break the record for most players on injured reserve. And then 21 happens. We beat the Packers in the snow. We don't score a single. We don't score a single touchdown. But we win off of a punt block touchdown. With Josh Norman defending Devontae Adams. Single-handedly ending the Packers. Run of Rodgers and Adams. We make the championship game. I think to myself this is the year. I finally get to see it. The 10th year of me being a fan of this football team. This is it. This has to be it. So I, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I make the irrational decision. I fly down to Los Angeles. I spent $2,400 on tickets to the NFL Championship game! And then we have guys doing this! I just guy go see guys not knowing how to catch under the ball! I just, I go, and I just... Oh, we blow another lead. We blow another lead. We blew, we blew another 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. And then last season. We beat the Seahawks. Beat the Cowboys. Get to the NFC Championship game once again. Again. Brock Purdy blows out his elbow because we have our third string tight end guarding Hassan Reddick. And I had to sit through Josh Johnson playing quarterback in the second half. <gasps> So before we start this playoff run for the 2023-24 NFL season, all I want to say is Arik Armstead, get your fat ass off that fucking TikTok podcast you got. Get in the game. I just don't think my chest can handle another 49ers playoff elimination. I, I, I don't think my physical health, my mental health, my psychological, physiology, social, ten, interstellar, I, I, I can't even function properly. If we lose in the playoffs once again, this is the year. This is this is honestly the year, guys. Let's let's really do this. Let's just think about this. We got the seventh seed. We have every home game. We have the seventh seed. We got Jordan Love. Jordan Love in the first round, man. I'm like older than all the receivers. All we gotta do is just handle our business. All right, just get us to the promised land. I don't even want to talk about Brock Purdy getting robbed for second team all pro over Mr. Drew Walls. All right, I don't want to talk about Brandon Ayuk not making the Pro Bowl. I don't want to talk about any of that other stuff. I don't care. Just finish 
the deal. Please, I just want to see a Super Bowl while I'm alive. I've been eating these honey crawlers, man. I'm not living for long, man. I'm a diabetic by 25. I'm telling, I'm, I'm not, I'm not making it, man. I'm not making it that, oh, please, man. Life is not guaranteed. You gotta be lucky to wake up every morning. I don't take none of this for granted. So please, please, Niners, just close it out. Just get to the chip. All right, I beg you, please. Bought the webcam, bought the mic. Live stream's coming back. Make sure you're there.